Okay, welcome to another video on how and where to apply for NSPAS. Now I am taking you step by step on how to apply for NSPAS online. You are more than welcome to ask for any help or clarity. My contact details will be found on the description of this video below. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new. I welcome you. If you have not subscribed also, please subscribe. Please like and remember to share this video to your friends and relatives. I will really appreciate that. Now let's dive into the video because we are going to learn how to apply for NSFAS in four simple steps. So let's dive into the video. Hello everyone. I believe you are well wherever you are. This is Mangoba. Malambe, who is all about helping each and everyone to revive their ambitions and reinforce their dreams. So in today's video, we are going to learn in four steps how to apply for NSFAS. It is simple. Remember, if you do not know the requirements you will need with you before you start the application, you can, um, you, you can, can check my video where it explains the requirements and who is eligible to apply for NSFAS. But before the first step, the first of the first steps is to like, subscribe and share this video. Invite your friends. Let's come and watch and go through these steps. It is very simple. Ladies and gentlemen, take your phone, take your tablet or your user PC or computer. Use any browser. And but I recommend Google Chrome because it is simple and uh, it does not give troubles. So let's get into the video. Uh, first step, you go to your to the NSFAS website. Type www.nsfas nsfas .org .za and go to my nsfas account so if you do not know the requirements you can uh, watch uh, my video where it, uh, where i explain the requirements you will need to uh, to apply for nsfas to catch up you need your valid cell phone number and email address it will be used for for any communication from nsfas uh, with your correspondence, uh, something that is related. Your email and cell phone number is correct. Make sure it is correct. So, and you go to my NSFAS. Then step number two, you create your account. So, if you have one account, if you have created your account, uh, you have missed some document, you want to upload your document, or yeah, uh, you want to correct something, you enter email address here and your password. Before we were allowed to create our own username, but now it is your email address. So, do not share your email address with anyone and your password because as there are many scammers outside there. So you click register. So follow the steps here. Allow NSFAS to verify and validate. Enter your ID number. And do not share your ID number with anyone. With just anyone. Make sure your valid your ID number is valid. Enter your first name. As they are on the ID, your surname, your surname is there, email address. Oh, yeah, this is your username, they are just telling you. Yeah. If you do not have an email address, you can click here to create one or you can call me if you feel safe, then you can enter your email address. It will make sure it is correct, it is valid, you do not share it with anyone.
and enter your cell phone number. So make sure your cell phone number, uh, do not just change cell phone numbers. Then you have to create your password here. Then create a password, make sure it is correct and you do not share it with anyone. It should be eight characters, uh, capital letters, small letters, number, and the special character. It can be a star, hash, at, um, and a underscore, and a special character. And you confirm your email address, your password. So the first document that they will need here is your ID. And your register. Did you capture your first names and as it appears on your first D? Yes. Let's wait for NS first. So to proceed with your, um, what is this, with your registration, please enter the one opt pin below that has been sent to your cell phone number via email address and to your registered email address. So uh, enter that one opt pin, they have sent it to you. So let me go and get it very fast. So uh, this is it, you can copy, you can copy it, make sure, uh, to copy it, control C, sorry, you can copy it, uh, control C, you can press control C or right click and copy this, then go back and paste it here, control V to paste or you click right click and click paste, then submit. then your my NSPAS account profile has been activated please remember your log in details keep your email address and password safe so now this is the big part we are missing so we have created an account now we have to apply so we have to apply we have just created an account so Log, log in with your email address and the password you have created, you have provided to apply. That is step number three. Uh, this is your dashboard welcome where they welcome you your application here this is where you can check your status you can change your email address if you, it happens that you you something you suspected some scammers or something like that this is where you can change your number so you haven't yet applied these are your personal details you can check them and update them if something uh, came up click here apply so now this is where you apply apply for nsbus funding yeah? so please select a cycle ah uh, what is this i uh, 2020 trimester two if it's for 2020 but you are doing for 2021 you have selected this uh, they are confirmed Please note the application for 2020 trimester is also open now. You can, if you are doing trimester. So automatically, you have, because you have registered your account, your information is, it will load automatically here because it is available and you have provided them correctly with your ID name, same name as your marital status, cell phone number and ID. So what you have to do, update your gender and make sure it is correct, your date of birth, 
you can um, limit by uh, yeah by the years here sorry let's see let's go back this person is very old then select your month and the date so it is done make sure it matches with your id street name and the number you and the street name Yeah, you can just uh, leave this. Let's say let me show you. Yeah, you select the province where you're from. This is where you are applying. So now we know those who have been asking me, they only requested for ID. Did you feel this? Uh, did you come across with these steps now? If you haven't, you have not yet applied because at the end, this is where you have to upload your documents so um even if they will require the id but make sure you have came across with these steps so town um select your town let me say over town then the postal code then rest africa disability if you have any disability your family details are you financially dependent on your uh, parents or guardians um you can indicate this indicator whether you are dependent on your mother or if you are dependent on your mother you can indicate indicate if you are dependent on your father indicate if you are dependent to your legal guardians yeah then you enter their ID number. Then, then their first name. Make sure uh, the names are uh, as they are on the ID. Then you enter their cell phone number. As you uh, specify if your legal um, uh, guardian is currently employed or not, you can uh, indicate that. So you have any university qualification you can indicate if you have it are you currently studying at public university if you are you will indicate in which province is the last school that you attended or you are attending yeah so what letter does the name of the last school start with with so you can indicate Select the name of the school that you attended. Uh, so they are limiting it for you. Mm -hmm. What is your highest school academic level? So obvious grade twelve, grade eleven. If you are doing um, grade eleven, so it will be grade twelve if you have completed your metric uh, the previous years. Yeah. So indicate whether you are applying to study at the university or. So you can choose if you have applied for at the Tibet, you can indicate if which university you can indicate. So which university or Tibet is your first choice? So make sure that you choose uh, the first choice, the one that you know that if I pass, they will take me here. So that you, you won't have any uh, complications um, the next year you are applying. So where are you applying from? Are you at home 
NYTA office, financial aid office at the institution outreach. Are you at high school or secondary school or other? Then you can specify. Now, um, here, um, upload your details. Then again, they require your ID. Your ID. Then click select. You upload your ID. Then you upload uh, 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 to this application. So this one, they require your uh, your legal uh, uh, your legal ID. Agree to the terms. You understand this, and agree and accept that the I I, I consent to NSFAS rating. You click upload the document because. Your supporting document have been uploaded so you submit you can check again your information if it is correct check your information check your information check your information and you click submit your application now thank you your unexpressed application for funding has been submitted your application reference number is this one make sure you do not share it with anyone so you have applied for NSFAS. yes so um now there is a new update now that's why they only require the ids because with the ids they can validate all information as received from the department of Home Affairs and show that you type yeah uh, so that's why they required the ids but make sure that you have all the document we have mentioned before uh yeah so you can click here to view the list of the supporting documents uh if you are not sure so this all this all of the list of the uh, uh, supporting document for those who, who do not know or uh, you can watch uh, my videos now so yeah uh, so you track your application process here once you look in you see current step you have completed step uh, the steps you can see uh, maybe if they are um, already next year if they are uh, approved you maybe it will be here funding eligible etc we'll, we'll talk uh, about this more uh, next year on when that time or on the next videos then yeah uh, good luck guys with your application for NSPAS so please remember to share this video like and uh, comment below if you have any question or contact me um, my contact details will be found on the description of this video please let's help each other let's share this video let's sh let's help other people um out there to apply let's spread the word uh, if you know anyone again who have no data information any portable device to go about uh, you can direct them to me they can call me some people they do not know about youtube just like me i knew about youtube when i came uh, uh, to the university of johannesburg it was my it was my first time knowing that there is youtube and there uh, after some time so if it, so i in rural areas at rural area areas there are some people who do not know about youtube uh, they do not know about google or they even they know they do not know where to go and get this important information so together i and you we can help each and everyone to revive their ambition and reinforce their dreams unlock their future unlock your future today and may god bless each and everyone who is supporting this channel and increase your territories in jesus name and i believe it shall be done so do not forget to subscribe to my channel support it like and share and good luck with your applications see you in the next video